Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Talking Chelsea, Chelsea Blues. Blues. Welcome back to another video. We hope you're all doing well today. Before we get into this, please make sure you like, like comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe, turn that notification bell icon on to be notified when we upload. Share the channel out as much as possible, guys. It really does help us out. Yes. Guys, hope you like the new background. It is new. It is for the World Cup. As you can see, it's got everything you need in it. It's got... Uh, but behind me, we've got a window looking out to Australia um, in Sydney. And guys, on the other side, behind my dad, you've got Auckland in New Zealand, which is another beautiful city. And this is where the, where the, where the World Cup is happening in Australia in Australia and New Zealand. So guys, the watch-alongs will be back for tomorrow, back tomorrow for the World Cup. The, uh, the organisation of games will be on Twitter tomorrow, tonight. Um, so you know which games we are live streaming for the group stages of the World Cups and so on and so forth. But guys, tonight is World Cup group yes. stage predictions. How, how do we think all the groups are going to go and where do we think all teams mm -hmm. are going to uh, end up? And um, guys, I hope you're excited for this, you know. Um, we're going to be behind our women 100%. Yeah, it's um, coming home. You know, it's coming home. It's yeah. coming home. Yeah. It's coming home this time. Coming home. I feel it. I can feel yeah. it in the water. You know, it, there's been a lot of... Oh, mm. but there's so many good teams. There's the United States of America. Mm. Who gives a yeah. monkeys? We won the Euros. Um, we won the Euros. Let's prove the rest of let's, them wrong. Let's uh, just hope now and, uh, you know, get behind our women and uh, hope that they uh, bring home the uh, World Cup. You know, um, they're it's amazing. So excited. You know, and, you know. They Don't forget, guys. Another video, another somewhere video, in the world. Another Another video we'll be dropping tonight discussing a few bits about Chelsea and what's going on with Chelsea at the moment. But right now we're mm. focusing on the World Cup stuff. So yeah. let's get into this. So guys, as you know, it's World Cup group stage predictions. Yes. So let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Let us know if you're looking forward to the World Cup and who do you think is going to win the World Cup. We'd love to hear your thoughts England. in the comment section. Come on, England. Come on. Come on, like yes. yes. Um, so let's get into this. Let's start off with Group A. So in Group A, we've got the Philippines, New Zealand, Norway and Switzerland. So we've put a few predictions together of each individual group. So let's start off with our prediction for Group A. Let's have a look. So starting off in Group A, first place, we have Norway. We feel that Norway are going to take this group by storm. With Gira right and a few other good, fantastic players in there. You know, they, they look like a fantastic team all round. So I really do think they're yeah. going to do well. Dad, what do you think about Norway? I know we I know we talk about Gira, Gira Wrighton, yeah. uh, but there's a few other players in there. I, I can't remember all their names, but Gira Wrighton stands out to me as one of those players that could be player of the tournament. Yeah. Um, no. Um, Norway are a very strong team, you know, very good on a ball. Um, you know, a team to be reckoned with. Um, you know, not just in Europe, but around the world. Um, I think, you know, Norway are, are very strong and I think, you know, they could uh, take this group stage, you know, um, in first place, obviously. Um, the other person I uh, know of is Mielda. She's a Norwegian as well, isn't yes, she? Yes, she is. Mielda yes, so is we've got Mielda. That's another Chelsea um, ladies player. Exactly. And then we've got Switzerland, who have got um, Alicia Lehman. Alicia who, Lehman, Who's yeah. another fantastic player. You know, someone who I think could really light up the game, light up the game of the World Cup. You know, f play for Aston Villa, mm. fantastic footballer. Yeah. And then we've got New Zealand and the Philippines. Now I don't yeah. know too much about New Zealand, and I don't know too much about the Philippines either. So I've put we've put them in uh, third and fourth respectively. But guys, that's our Group A predictions. Dad, you, we're happy with this, aren't we? You think you think that Norway would take this by storm? Yes, I I do think that uh, Norway are uh, taking this. Uh, group stage and you know followed by Switzerland second yes yeah so um, yeah that completes group A for yeah, our so predictions let's go back to the main camera now and then we'll go into the next group game so guys let's go into the next group game now and let's talk about group B now this is quite an interesting group so let's get into it now so in group B we have Canada Australia Nigeria and Ireland now me and my dad, me and my dad were discussing this earlier. We were looking at the groups and we were deciding what we thought was going to happen. We looked at this group and we thought straight away Canada, great team. You've got Kadesha Buchanan, you've got Lawrence who has just signed for Chelsea. Fleming. You've got uh, Jesse Fleming involved in there as well. Um, also, I forgot about Norway. There's another player who's playing for um, Norway as well, uh, Kanyuri. Oh, can you read? Yes. Yes. So yes there's plenty another. of involvement for player yeah. for for Chelsea players in Norway's team. But guys, 
Canada, they are the standout in this group. And I know you've got Australia with Sam Very Kerr. Yeah. yeah. But Canada, Canada have got a lot of good players. They've got a lot of good players. And they're no mugs either. Um, so they, they're first for us. Second, Australia. Sam Kerr is going to take the line like Fury for Australia. She's world class, don't you think, Dad? You know this this oh, opportunity. Absolutely. It's an opportunity for her as well to really yeah, show herself yeah, on the yeah. world stage. Yeah, you know, I, I she's one of the best in the world, if not the, the best. best. Yeah, you know, and um, we're lucky to have her at Chelsea. Yeah, so uh, yeah, as you say, you know, Canada very strong. I think you know it's for the take in there. Um, you know, as we predicted, Australia will come a close second. Um, with Nigeria and Ireland following third and fourth. Yeah, exactly. And so Nigeria, I don't, and I don't know much about, and Ireland, I don't know very much about either. But th that's our group B. And let us know your thoughts on group B, guys. Let's go back to the main camera now, and then we'll get into the next group game. So into the next group stage in group C. Let's go across and have a look. And in group C, it's Spain, Japan, Costa Rica, and Zambia. Now Spain, we pl England played Spain. In the Euros at Brighton and Hove Albion Stadium a few years back, when we went on to win the Euros, Spain absolutely took us to the sword that game. They took us to the sword. They were cre they were quality on and off the ball. Their pressing was aggressive. It was excellent. Mm -hmm. Plenty of good players in there. Yes. Now I feel like Spain and you agreed with this, Dad. I said to you earlier that Spain could actually really give this World Cup a real good go. Yes. Um, yes. And Japan as well, yeah. um, second place. Mm. But Spain have a lot of players who play for mm. Barcelona. So, mm. yeah. So I th I'd say we'd say Spain for the first place. Japan in second place. I don't know enough about Japan, but I know they've got a few good players. They're relentless. Um, Japan. Are, they're relentless. Know? They're yeah. aggressive on the ball. Yes. Um, and they're off and off the ball as well. Their pressing is very aggressive. And then you got Costa Rica and Zambia in third. I don't know as I know, as as I said before. Don't know enough about Costa Rica. Don't know enough about Zambia to really place them anywhere else. Um, Dad, talk to me a little bit about your thoughts on Spain and, uh, and your thoughts on Japan, the top two. Yeah, well, you know, Spain, uh, you know, most formidable of uh, opponents, especially in this Alexis group. Putella. Um, now, yeah. she's quality. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, they're technicians on the ball. You know, you know they're always on their A game. Um, and, you know... This is a team to look out for, you know, when we're sort of like um, eliminating down into the uh, quarterfinals, semifinals. You know, yeah. you'll always find an essay is something, you know, um, drastic that's happened, and, you know, that Spain will still be there in for the running. So, uh, yeah, we put Spain top, are we, you know, with Japan second, and of course, Costa Rica or Zambia. You know, um, either third, third or fourth. fourth, yeah, that can yeah. even switch, that can yes. even switch, guys, yeah. either yeah. way. But I don't know enough yeah. about Zambia, and I don't and know. And the other thing I know, you know, like to say is that um, there could be a know, dark horse, yeah, 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 there could, could be a dark horse. Zambia, for all we know, yeah, Zambia, for all we know, could be like the Brazil of the, the men's Brazil mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. That could be that could well, be look outrageous. At, look in the men's, um, I, I don't know, I can't remember what year it was in now, the World Cup, but um, Cameroon, you know. And um, you know they yeah, were the Cameroon dogs. house and quality players anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's our predictions for Group C. Let us know your thoughts on our prediction on your pred on our predictions for Group C, and if you'd make any changes. Let's go back yeah. to the main camera now again, and then we'll go into the next group. So guys, now we're moving on to the next group, Group D. Let's get into this and let's give you our individual thoughts. Now this yeah. is a really really good group. So the mighty England, Denmark, the China, and Haiti. The Lionesses coming first. I do yes. not care what anyone says. They're going to destroy this group. I, yeah. I am. I have complete confidence in it, Dad. Don't you agree? Yeah. Don't, you, don't you agree? Yeah. Look at the talent we've got in. Lauren the, uh, James, club. Lauren Hem, mm. Beth Mead. You've yeah. got um, Bethany England. Mm. You've got Georgia Stanway. You know. You've Millie got um, Ella Toon, mm. Millie Bright, Jess Carter, Neve Child, Mary Earp. Mary Earp. Quality all over the pitch. All over the pitch. Yeah. There is every single did bit I, of excellence. Did I also hear that um, Charles would be playing? Charles is in the squad, yes. Yes. Yeah, Neil Charles, Charles is in the squad. Yeah, but what a great player she is yeah, as well. But you know, England, great asset for Chelsea. England to storm this group. England yeah. to storm this group. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Look, yeah. I look at China and I think maybe mm. they could be... It could be yeah. between them and Denmark for second place. Yeah. Haiti... I've watched Haiti play once. And yeah, it's... It, that, that's going to be a walkover. Well, you can never say anything to walk over. It's on the 90s. Well, they're like 170-odd you know, ranked know, in the but, world. But, you know, <laughs> you 
you know, there has They're been not some uh, mirac- miraculous wins in the past, you know, where it's the same when we come sort of like uh, yeah. to play under underdogs or lower um Lower league teams, league, lower league but, teams, say for the FA Cup. And let's let's just let's just be frank though. Ta- Denmark and China are in the running for second. China are a pretty good team. Yeah. China are like ranked thirtieth yeah, in the world, thirtieth, yeah, fortieth yeah. in the world, I believe. You know, so yeah, you, you know, it's great sports people from China. You oh, know. and the um, thing is, China, China, the Chinese, produce they great always athletes, train yeah. great athletes. Look at the Olympics when it comes to swimming, mm. diving, you know, yeah. stuff like that, boxing. It all comes down to how great their training is. And their training philosophies are amazing. So don't be surprised if China too take second place in this in this group. But guys, England, Denmark, China and Haiti in this group. Let us know your thoughts on that, guys. Let's go back to the main camera and let's get into the next group. Okay, so let's move on into group E. Now this is going to be quite an interesting yeah, group. Interesting. Let's get into this one. So, in Group E, we've got reigning World Cup champions, USA, USA, Netherlands, Portugal, and Vietnam. Well, Vietnam, you can cancel out already. Vietnam, they're not, they're not going to really have much chance in this group. But Netherlands, former former, fi- former finalists, I believe, um, against the USA in the last World Cup. Yes. Um, but USA to take this group, end of story. I can, see, I can actually see USA and England be in the final. I really can. Um, Netherlands, I think... You know, we think it's going to be coming close second. Portugal, we watched them against England mm-hmm. in a friendly the other week. They didn't look too bad. Yeah. They weren't too bad, but they weren't too great either. I believe that um, USA will take this group by storm, though. And Vietnam, not much to really know about. Um, they're not much to write home about either. Um, but, Dad, tell me, what do you think about USA? Do you think they're contenders for the World Cup as well? Well, yeah, you know, the USA, uh, you know, over the years, as sort of like, you know... Um, shot out of the bag and appeared on the world stage uh, for football. Um, yeah, you know, I think um, it would either be, you know, for me out of these um, four teams, it would either be USA or Netherlands to um, win that group stage. There. Yeah. But um, the USA are looking very strong and, you They've know. They've got some great players. they got some great players. But, guys, this is our uh, prediction for Group yeah. E. Let us know your thoughts. Let's go back to the main camera now and we'll get into Group F. So, guys, going into Group F, let's get into Group F. So, we've got France, Brazil, Jamaica, and Panama. France, Yves Perese. Yes. Uh, who else you've got in the French team? Um, you know, you've got some fantastic players in there. You've got um, some players from Lyon who we played in the Champions League running last season. Um, you know, you've got some players from PSG who are great, but yeah, Eve yeah. Perese is the one that stands out for us. That for us, doesn't it, Dad? Yes, yeah, yeah, she's a great um, what what uh, right back, right back, she's right, she's right back. Uh, yeah, Eve Perese. Yeah, she's a very uh, good player, very strong. Um, you know, very, very quick, quick on a ball. Yeah. Um, you know, and you know she scored in the past as well. So um, yeah, you know France looking uh, particularly strong in that group. Um, I would not underestimate Brazil either. No, but they, you know, Brazil the, did play us in the yeah. finalissima not long yeah. ago against England. Yeah, I know. And they yeah. didn't look too bad. Yeah. So I'm not going for them for third. Jamaica third. Oh. Don't know enough about Jamaica, but they've always got some great runners and great athletes. Again, yeah. So Jamaicans. we'll just wait and you know, see when yeah. it comes down to them. And then you've got Panama in fourth Panama, place. Panama. Um, not much to write home about again, no. but they could they could easily be an underdog and they could easily turn heads. But we'll yeah. wait and see. But guys, let us know your thoughts on our group F predictions. Let's go back to the main camera now, and then we'll give you our thoughts on the next group. So, guys, moving on into Group G. Group G consists of Argentina, Sweden, Italy, and South Africa. Now, straight away, Sweden are one of the best teams in the world. Argentina oh, yes. are one of the best teams in the world. Italy are one of the best, best teams, teams in the world. So this is like a group yeah. of death, really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So either way, you're going to lose one of the best yeah. teams in the world. Yeah, this, right? is, this is a hard uh, group. But to we've gone like, with Arge- um, Argentina first, predict. Sweden yeah. second, Italy third, South Africa fourth. Cool. Yes. Now, based on Sweden being second, we've got they've got Magdalena Eriksson. Yeah. You yeah. Know, they've got the captain, you know... They used to have our captain, fan, they have our captain fan, fan, fantastic, or what was our captain fantastic, as she sadly left Chelsea now. Yeah. But Argentina looked great as well. You know, they've got some fantastic players. They're very quick, very mobile, very energetic. They're just like the men's team, very mobile, very passive, yeah. 
passive aggressive. Uh, they're very good. So you talk about Magda- Magdalena Eriksson. Magdala- Mag- yeah. So she left with um, Peniel Harder, who Peniel. plays for Denmark. Denmark. Now they, you know, is one to look for. Peniel Harder. Yeah. And a great Lo- goal scorer again. Mm. Chelsea legend. One hundred percent. But let's take a look, let's take a look at Sweden, right? Um, you know, they're one of the best teams in the world. So I think they're going to be one of the top teams who could might maybe actually win this World Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, but Argentina and Sweden to go through and Italy and South Africa to fall short of it. Dad, you know, it was hard between Sweden and Italy, wasn't it? It was yeah. a hard choice because yeah. you look at this group straight away and you think, ooh, hang on a mm. second, that's not an easy group yeah. to pick. No, no. But I think, do you think Argentina to take top spot and Sweden to take second Italy to go out and South Africa mm-hmm. to go out as well yeah. but that's our group G predictions let us know your thoughts on group G guys and let us know what you think and let's go back to the main camera and get into the final group so guys moving in to the final group group stage prediction here group it page. is oh I haven't put the image in oh so guys the can you just dad can you just clarify which which team yeah, you're in okay sorry about that guys <laughs> sorry, I, I've messed it's up fault. Guys. It's I, 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 you should have double checked with this first. So do you, do you want to read out some of the yep. to who's in the group? Okay, so we've got Group H finally. Yeah, and in first place we have Germany. Germany. Yeah. Second place we've gone for Colombia. Third place, Morocco. And fourth place, finally, South Korea. Yeah. Um yeah. now out of those four, um, we know how strong the Germans are. Yeah, yeah. straight away. And I can point out. I can point out two players. Gifted, two know. players. Two players for Germany, Katr- and Katrenberger. the goalkeeper, Melanie Leopolds. Leopolds, yes. Two players that will instantly spring to mind, and you think, yes, good team, good player, great, great players. Yeah. Um, South Korea, I think is South Korea. I think it's G who plays for plays for the South Korea women. I G. think. Remember G, who played for Chelsea? Yeah, I remember The midfielder, G, yeah. the little yeah. talent. Um, Morocco in third. Look, Morocco, I don't know enough They're about. Bad. They're not bad. We, I've not seen them play enough to, to really make mm-hmm. a make a mm-hmm. statement about them. But, guys, you know, Germany first, Colombia second. Colombia, I've seen a few times, and they've got some good footballers. You know, I don't know all their names, but they've got some good quality in there as well. Yeah. Um, and apart from that, um, South Korea... And a sorry fourth, yeah. but that that's that's that. It, it's they, these are just our predictions. These are our know. predictions. This could you, all go belly up. Yeah, you could have totally different predictions. You could have South Korea top you know. of that group. Yeah, yeah. Anything can happen. Like you I just say, never know. It's on the night. One thing I am is uh, is for sure. It's coming home. Oh yeah, it's coming yeah, home. Yeah. It's coming home. I'm without it's doubt in my mind now. Yeah. I'm I'm without doubt. Yeah, I'm without doubt because I know this team. I've watched this team. I watched everything they went through, um, through the Euros, the finalissima, everything we've been through. And an outstanding manager. Yes, in Serena Weigman. Yeah. Weigman, you're the one. You Football's still turn me on. on. Football's coming home, home again. again. Yep. So guys, yeah, yeah. no so doubt about that. It's coming home, guys. It's coming home. I have no doubt. I have no doubt in these players. I have no doubt in the quality we've got. Um, Dad, you know, let's do it. Let's we'll do a. Obviously, we're going to do a um, round of sixteen onwards to the quarterfinals, to the semi-final, to the final predictions. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thing is, you know, it's going to be important to to realize that. This this World Cup is going to be huge. It's the first yeah. Women's World Cup we'll have watched. Yeah, you know, but, it, it's a pity in one way, you know, because you know I've always supported England because our own. But country. there's no Wales. No, no Wales. But you know, it just shows the yeah, standard yeah, of football yeah, you know, in our it nation. Does, it does. You know, there are some great players from Wales. You know, you Gareth Bale, obviously. You, you know, got Sophie Ingle. Sophie Ingle for ladies. Yeah, you know, there are so many. You know, players. Um, you know, past and present mm. uh, that have played for Wales. Uh, but, you know, obviously they didn't cut the mustard. They're not good enough to be there. Exactly. And, you know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, yeah, you know, so we're here. You know, we want our ladies uh, to, you know, get out there, you know, do the business, you know, emphatically like they did in mm. the uh, Euros and uh, bring, bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. But yeah, guys, that's our predictions for the for the World Cup group stage. Just let us know yeah. your predictions in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure 
if you, you like, like comment, comment subscribe, subscribe turn that notification bell icon on to be notified when we upload share the channel out as much as possible guys it really does help us out thank yep. you so much for joining us guys and we will thank see you, you guys. later on for another video bye guys bye guys